Good morning, everyone. Welcome to beautiful Michigan. Birds are chirping, sun's shining. Doesn't get much better than this. If you're new around here, my name is David Krause, and this morning I'm going to be going after some river smallies with the Boeing topwater popper. It's got a nice paint job. The body's really solid. I've actually had this lure a long time and I've caught a lot of fish on it. I've just never really done a video about it. So I figured I would throw this this morning for some smallies and show you guys. This was sent to me on Facebook by a guy named Jason Yoakum and he's kind of the sales guy for Boeing lures. If you guys want to get some lures in my hands, um, go ahead and send me a message. Um, or shoot me an email and we'll work out the details and um, send me a couple lures and I'll throw them in one of the videos. But anyways, this is what I'm throwing this morning. I really like it. It's it's pretty heavy. It's quite loud. It's got a really, it's got a nice rattle to it in addition to this concave front. So obviously it pops, but you can kind of walk the dog with it even with the popper front, which is nice. I like it because you can kind of work it a variety of ways. Even though it's got that lip on the front, it sits pretty low in the water, and so you can kind of walk the dog with it, just like that. It's a fun lure to fish. For nighttime brown trout fishing, this is kind of my go-to. I use this quite a bit, and I've actually caught a lot of fish on it, just never really used it in any of the videos. So I figured this morning would be a good morning to uh, bust it out. So thanks for coming along with me. Let's go see if we can catch some smallies. There's one. right here too. Pretty nice one right there. This thing's got some good hooks on it, I will say that. First one. See ya. Oh, there's a, there's a nice one. That was a cool bite too. Oh yeah, that's a real good one right there. Oh yeah. Pretty good smelly right there. Probably 16 or 17 inches. Somebody said they wanted to, wanted to see me bring a bump board, so here you go. There he is. Shia 18 on there. Pretty nice one. See ya.
Squirrel. Another squirrel. Hi, buddy. Hi. I don't think they're used to seeing people go over that log jam. Sweet spot right here. What in the world? You're curious little guy, aren't you? Okay. We'll see you later. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's one. Pretty good fish. Bloosh! Got this big log jam here that I just went over. This is the first log jam that I've gone past. Seems like once you go past the first log jam, typically you start getting into some bigger fish. Usually the way it goes. I can see a deer up there. Oh, whoa, that was crazy. That was crazy. That fish was in like a couple inches of water. That was wild. What in the world is that fish doing there? What? That was crazy. This is like six inches deep right here. Huh. Awesome. Awesome smallie right there. Once you get past that first log jam, man, they are not shy. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. That was a weird bite. He was right under me. Ooh, ooh. There we go. <laughs> Looks like it may be a largemouth, actually. Oh no, it's a smallie. That's a smallie for sure. Not a nice one. We've got three today so far that are in that 18 inch range, basically. It's probably more like 16, 17. A couple good fish today so far. Nothing huge. Gonna go for a ride up here, I guess. 
That was cool. Come here. <laughs> up on that backwater up there. Well, I think that's a good one to end the day on, everyone. Time to start paddling back. As always, thanks for coming along with me. That was a lot of fun. We'll see you in the next one.